I've called this show a body of parts, so to do with really the whole hunter-gathering, the story, um, the whole story of how, where I come from in, in terms of it being food and nourishment as well. I have been known to shoot the bird, pluck the bird, cook the bird, eat the bird, and then turn it into a very pretty object too. Part of one's care for the countryside is to always make sure that anything's picked up during shooting, so I pick up all the cartridges. And then I wanted to utilise the beauty of these rather bling, gold-topped cartridges and turn them into something. I ended up with some gunpowder. I've been making these wonderful little trails. So I set light to this end here with a taper and then it just fizzed all the way around in flame. I wasn't entirely sure what the result would be. It was just a marvellous accident, really. I got into bones last year. I was doing a litter pick, community litter pick, and uh, I found a dead cat in the roadside. And it was perfect, beautiful white bones, just curled up on the roadside, uh, as if it had just curled up and gone to sleep. Uh, well, I didn't gather those bones and put them in the bin, but I locked and loaded them. The badger here was found in the roadside um, pretty fresh carcass and I uh, left it outside over the summer for the beetles to eat all the meat and then I went through a whole cleaning process and rather than making it representative of a badger I wanted to put all the components of the animal within a frame to sort of abstract the animal somewhat and turn it into a pattern the shoes stem from really my um, preoccupation of putting things in boxes. <laughs> uh, that sort of look but don't touch, uh, rather like an exotic bird. Shoes are, are such a sort of tricky subject really, but they're sexy and they're feminine and by enveloping them in feathers it renders them useless really. Since having four children, uh, I became very preoccupied by working with circles and, um, and around, and it was really almost sort of the relevance of me feeling complete and, and being whole, and, and also working with natural things like skulls and bones and feathers. Nature's so geometrical that everything fits into a circle. These, for instance, are teal feathers. These are from a wild duck. I look at this almost as a celebration. It's, um, I, I'm, I'm working a lot with death, but death is so much part of life and, and, the, and the joy of it. And so there is something very cathartic about working with, with these materials and turning them into something rather beautiful and quite ritualistic. And actually the whole ritual of making these things um, there's so many processes, there's the cleaning, there's the preparing, there's the gilding. It's turning something that's worthless into something very precious.